Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Numnex, is bringing you here this week's Mob Psycho 100 episode 2 and 3. I'll be doing a review for that. I did say that I was going to keep up the weekly with the show. So, let's get with it. Episode 2, I'm going to do a quick run cap because not really much happened to it. He tried to join a club, they witnessed his psychic powers, and then he just kind of dips and decides to join the physically fit, <coughs> uh, physically fit team to impress Subomi. I think it's her name, Subomi? We'll call her Sue for now. Subomi, something like that, where it's a childhood girl that he's known for a long time. He's had a mad crush on, and he wants to try and impress her. And I'm like, you have psychic powers, dude. You have psychic powers. <laughs> I'm also really sick, so please bear with me. <coughs> oh my god, I'm contracting AIDS. Okay. That was basically episode two. Episode three for the Rumor Act for that. Uh, also in episode two as well, he goes inside of like a basketball court with females and he destroys and utterly demolishes the spirit and then he impresses them. So really the hint for that and the point is that is all these females are liking him for, I guess, who he's pretending to be, which is really him, and it's just like he powers, so just show off, bro. But then again, we also get to see in this episode that he's really dormant, he's really quiet, and he's very emotionless, and they show why he's actually emotionless, you know? I always thought it was weird, I thought Tama was really just, really, like, bland. I thought that was just the humor of it. I, for that, I think it was, for Saitama, it was the humor for it. Um, I keep comparing the two, because if you obviously can't tell from Saitama's face and Kageyama's face, it's the same writer, same creation, but Mob actually has a reason why he's so emotionless. It's because he bottles up his emotions. If he actually were to let loose of his emotions, he would snap. That That's where the 100% comes from. It was answered to that in this episode, this early on. So I guess that just shows that it's important, but that isn't really as important as we all thought it would be. We all thought maybe he'd like peak at 100% of power. Uh, maybe at towards the end of the series, but it looks as though that every single time it's more of a stress level an emotion revealing level to where if his emotions they just start to Stack up and pile up. He then will start to snap So right now it's looking like that he you can see the counter They have on every single episode the counter and the counter I didn't really pay attention to the counter at all. It was really irrelevant to me I should have paid attention more to it. This counter is actually very important <coughs> Does this counter does stack up? Uh, to how much he's getting stressed out, how much he's freaking out, how much he's panicking, and just his mood, you know, it's just his mood, but he gets, like, kind of indulged in this cult that this guy is trying to start up with this religion cult called LOL. I was like, what? LOL? Huh? They never really said what it stood for. They never said what it stood for, but it's the fact that it's called LOL. And I was like, this lady's trying to pitch sell to him. Literally sounds like an actual psychiatric person who's trying to sell their brand of, like, hypnotism and like mind reading i used to feel like this all the time on the streets when i would go traveling i'm like come on this shit is fake she kept doing it until it was something relevant to his life i was like huh <laughs> i thought it was funny though she's like you having family issues no study issues i'm actually doing really good in school <laughs> i was like what money issues i have a really good paying job at my age <laughs> contracting aids <laughs> contracting aids but essentially, we get to see him break this episode. I thought it was amazing. Oh my god, it was so good. It was so cool, dude. So, Mob actually hits 100% of his power because this, uh, this uh, cult leader literally pushes him on edge. Like, my man is talking about love and everything, and he's pushing him and pressuring him with this because it is true that Kagayama, Kagayama is having some issues right now with some love, and it's looking like right now that he really wants Sodomi more than anything. I'm probably mispronouncing your name, Helleron, but he wants us because we even see flashbacks of how they met and everything, and he would show her his psychic powers as a child, and then she grew tired of it. That's where I figured out when I was like, because later on, because you see in the beginning of the video, I was talking about how like he could just show off with psychic powers along towards the end. We do find out, though, that she is losing interest within the psychic powers she no longer finds them intriguing interesting flashy i guess she just got so used to it that it really isn't anything anymore now she's more along in love with hunky dudes dudes that are really physically fit and that's why he signed up for the body regiment training club and it didn't even seem like he worked out he lost and gave up like what a day in not even a day in and now it's looking like he doesn't know what to do and try and get her. That's why he's asking questions. Everybody, everybody around, he's asking everybody. That's why he was so easily manipulated by this female who came to him to invite him to this cult because he had no nothing else to do. So this guy making fun of him and talking shit about it 
triggered him and pressured him and all the anger is bottled up. You can see he hit 100% maximum with his powers and he's not allowed to go 100% because he can't control his powers at 100%. He loses his shit. That's why you see um, Reagan all the time telling him to keep control of your powers. You know, same with his family. Everybody who knows of it, tell him to keep control of it and just always to stay calm. That's why he's always, always so bland and everything. He lost his shit this episode. He went ham. He went to this ultimate state. Nothing phased him. He has like a shield that nothing works on him. And this is a, t a level two spirit. So this is a very powerful spirit from what we've seen so far. Already stronger than the ones we've already seen. Good God, he just destroyed it within. It was like nothing. Like literally nothing. You know, of course, Atama is stronger than Mob, but Mob is pretty OP too. He's pretty busted. It doesn't seem like anything will really stop Mob. Hopefully something within this series will be able to counter up against Mod. If not, maybe look like he'll have somewhat of an issue, but then also at the same time still be busted. Similar to how in One Punch Man, <clears throat> the last boss was stupid godlike powerful and Saitama also beat him with ease just to kind of show off that how powerful Saitama is. I'd love if they could also do that in this series as well, which it's, it's one. The creators are called one. I wouldn't be surprised if he did do this, but so far I'm loving this series. I, I don't know if you already saw my first impressions, but I already recommend the series completely. You should be seeing a top five this week out of the shows that I think are the best of this arc. And with that being said, though, guys, that's really going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I am Numb Nexus. I'm going to get about here. Goodbye.